Um, so in this one, it's more targeted at the entrepreneurs that want to take projects to that next level. And, um, and there's a little challenge at the end for how they can all kind of link together. So we'll, um, we'll keep that one as a little, uh, little bit of something exciting to stick around for. So the first, okay, um, good. I like the a challenge first... and then next week we can come back and see how people went. I like it. Well, I'll, I'll explain a little more as we, as we get to it. Um, <laughs> it's, um, more of a, more of a challenge of, uh, of me telling you about it. So the, um, the first tool that I'm going to start with, this is, um, this is really cool. So this is called. I've I've been doing a little research into a few of the um into a few of the AI tools that people can kind of use to start a business. So this one's called Landbot IO. So it's not actually specifically an AI native tool um, originally, but it's a no code chatbot um, builder. So what that means is you can use it without knowing how to code and put in responses to common customer queries and create kind of a flowchart of all the different uh, conversations that you would have. Um, that your your customers would have with your employees basically when they're on that customer service level. Gotcha. So um, this customer potentially asks question with these keywords in it. These this is the you know suggested response. Blah, blah, blah. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm sure everyone's been on the receiving end of one of those at one point, and they've often asked. You know, I mean, for me, I said if you're real, <laughs> and uh, sometimes they do. So I don't know if that's a bot or if that's a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bleep, bleep out. Um, no, it's just. It's <laughs> you got to bleep fun. that out again. We got to pay for every bleep, you know. <laughs> so I'm sure everyone's everyone's received one before. Um, I know we've used one per like for uh, for Facebook Messenger. Um, but this yeah, that's really right. Cool. Yeah, Facebook so, have have had that yeah for a while. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this one's really cool because it can integrate with heaps of different services. So you can integrate it yeah. with WordPress, Shopify, Webflow, WhatsApp. Um, gotcha. Stripe for processing payments, Calendly for Super booking cool. meetings. Oh, um, so this Calendly. one's Sick. yeah. So this one's crazy how how practical it is because most of the most of these things I think they only are built for one platform and then they just stick to that one platform only. Um, so this is really cool. Uh, something Damn, cool about cool. it is yeah, for sure. It can now so just newly it can integrate into ChatGPT. Um, which is going to take it to another level of um, generative human-like interactions from your company to your customers. So, oh, or almost the yeah. other, like as in ChatGPT can be integrated with it, and so people can ask questions, and it can actually get like. Resp- what do you mean? I don't understand. The integration works like this, right? So basically, it finds the answers um, to the customers' questions on your website. Uh, so. It'll find return days, for example. Say you've used Landbot to fill out oh, a bunch good. of different customer questions, but you haven't filled out how many return days do I have. You just forgot that, um, right? And so a customer asks how many return days, it'll go and search for the return days policy, and it'll come back and it'll say 30 days um, gotcha. to return oh, that's your product. Great. And it'll, that's really it'll good. frame it as though it's an employee and everything. It'll, yep. it'll properly yep. work yep. that out. Um, so yeah, it'll it'll kind of say how many days they have to return an item um, based on oh, that's awesome. what your website says. So and it'll find other okay. other things like that as well. All right, so that's that's tool number one. Tool number two is um, Synthesia IO, right? So this is an AI AI video generating platform. Um, and let me just share my screen to show what this is like. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Let's do it. Hi there, Nathan. It's me, your new AI co-host of H2LA. If you're listening to the audio only Verison, you should know that there's also a video of me saying this. Subscribe to the YouTube for more. <laughs> okay, um, so. I have a confession. I actually yeah. have seen, I've used this website before. Ah, there you go. Okay, all right. All right. Well, <laughs> you can't be you can't like be it. blown like away. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm blown you can't away. Be, no, you... I'm blown away, as I was the first time I saw it. Well, I don't know if I was that blown away, but it was good. It's good. I mean, yeah, it was fine. It's pretty cool. So it's pretty cool because it's like a completely new person, right? So for everyone who didn't um, know what was going on there or you're listening to the audio only, there's basically a completely fake woman that um, is completely AI generated, uh, not a real person at all. Um, she had the, which it was complete with a video of her saying what we had scripted into it and basically... Um, you can kind of script anything and the AI will, will speak um, as though they are a, a representative of your company, which is really cool. And so the uses are so there. This is are a really combination crazy. of, um, this is sort of like a combination of like uh, that, uh, what was the, uh, the photo AI uh, generation uh, platform that we were talking about last week? 
It's a uh, kind like of combination Windsor. of the visual element of that. Yeah, yeah. Visual element of that and then text to speech. And then, so I guess in my head, I already was aware of those things. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah, this is like a natural outcome of that. But I guess exactly. it's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 But it's crazy that they've kind of put it all together. And um, and if I can go further on that, um, there was a David Guetta um, DJ set where he actually used a piece of um, M&Ms. Um, so like he, he generated um, using text, um, like he basically put in what would, David, uh, what would Eminem say about the Future Sound uh, Festival, right? And um, and then Eminem, he like generated this text by Eminem. Then he put it into an Eminem voice sounder like AI tool, and um, and got that and put it into his DJ set and um, used Eminem's voice in his um, as like an in his actual set. Yeah, but it wasn't. Yeah, right. um, but he he had just gone and done that online, so it wasn't like he had been like he had asked Eminem or anything. He had just gone found that. Um, made it sound like Eminem, put it into his DJ set. So pretty crazy that you can kind of do things like that. You can just copy someone else now and like um, put it into your own DJ. The, the future is here, you know. Um, so obviously there's a lot of implications there for, um, you know, intellectual property and everything like that. But um, but yeah, anyway, this is, this is not that. This is Synthesia. So the next um, thing I'm talking about is a protocol. So this is this is called Rath. It's R A T H, and it's actually really niche to to try and find out information about it, right? But it's a protocol by a company called Canaries, um, and it's not like a product that you kind of sign up to, but it's something that you more API into. So it's um, it's basically something where you're taking the product from GitHub and um, and kind of connecting it with your SQL database or your AWS database. And it's a um, it's basically a Tableau competitor. So it uses it's different from Tableau though. So Tableau is kind of like a um, a data analysis tool um, that's kind of very commonly used to um, take data from all different systems. And basically, it's it's like a custom business to business huge um, big data system that kind of analyzes data for you and helps you helps you make sense of it. Um, so this is really cool because. It can take huge um, data sets and turn it into insights using AI instead. So Tableau doesn't really use AI. It just kind of shows you um, shows you raw data and lets you choose what you want to do with the data yourself. Um, whereas this, it's kind of got, it's definitely got all of the the classic, you know, data kind of stuff like taking a series of dashboards and creating the insights. But it can actually help you to create those insights. It can help you to clean data. It can help you to filter data. Um, automatically without having to like I think a lot of people have gone through individual rows in Excel because they couldn't figure out how to change something to a date or something like that so this is kind of an AI which will help you um, to do all of that data cleaning stuff remove the noise and give you something really valuable to work with Um, so that's that one my fourth one is um, is called Looker so this one's really cool it's basically a um, something which will help you create a professional design for your business. So it's like a logo maker. How do you spell that? It's L O O K A. Yeah, so this one's really cool. So it'll help you basically it'll provide a full design template for your brand. Um it'll generate business cards, it'll create a vertical and horizontal design con- concept and kind of show that on a website. Um so it's it's essentially replacing the full service graphic designer for, you know, a subscription fee, which is crazy because um that's like a whole industry that's gone by this one startup, which is really, um, really interesting. So you just put in a few attributes of your business, what you're interested in, what you're trying to do, blah, blah, blah. Maybe choose a few colors or something. And then it just speaks yeah, out yeah. all of your digital you know, needs and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. And, um, and one of the coolest ones, this is, um, this is the fifth idea. This is an app which lets you describe your, so it lets you describe your app using text. Um, so you type in um, prompts. And it'll design it for you. And you can essentially type in that you want to build Uber for hairdressers or Airbnb for dogs. And um, then you describe what you want the onboarding screen to look like, the next screen, really? all that kind of stuff. You type in you type in these prompts and it'll create the full design there um, in the style that you prompt it, which is really cool. So it's called Galileo. It's um it's really cool. It's um it's definitely next level in terms of design because a lot of people can I haven't tried it, um, but uh, it's it's like a, a waitlist kind of um, kind of an app, 
Um, so, but I'm, but I am keen to give it a go. I'm on the wait list. So I'll, um, I'll let you know how that goes when we, uh, when we get back to it. Um, so where it gets better than that though, is you can take those designs and they can actually be edited in Figma. Um, so you can export a file to Figma and then make your own adjustments, which is, um, which is really sick. As in so just drag stuff around basically and then put it back in. Yeah. So like Figma wow. being like the design leader of, of this kind of area. Um, it's really cool because you can, yeah, you can obviously export to Figma. And, Presumably and make those. you could make it all in Figma, drop it into this Galileo app and then just tell it what you want it to do with your like design. Like say, you know, this button goes to here, this button goes to here, that does that. Like in your head, is that? Yeah, well, like I mean, I haven't used it? it, so I'm not sure about the importing and okay. exporting, but I know it can export the um, files. So Interesting. I don't, don't want to speak for them, but that would be a good idea. <laughs> 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 they should do that. Yes. Um, or I feel like there's a lot of companies listening. called Galileo. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, there are. There are. So it was actually quite. It was. It was quite funny because I was looking up, and like it's like the fifth or tenth one down. So it's actually. Um, it's called usegalileo.ai. So that's how specific they had to get with the. Um, yeah. Yeah. They couldn't even get usegalileo.com. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Um, yeah, so in taking all of that, that's not that's not even the important part. This is the uh, this is you know the challenge at the end. So, how essentially how would you all of that's all all well and good and everything, but how would you take all of that, combine it into a business that actually works? That's the most important part. Um, so if you're if you're building a tech stack, like it's cool to be like oh, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this, but like what are you really building with it? Like it's otherwise, if you're just playing around with it, it's like oh this is a bit of fun. Um, this is pretty cool. You'll play around with it for one or two days and then you'll get bored and you'll, you'll like leave it, you know, and then you'll, you'll, it'll just be something you knew about, you know? Um, so how can you kind of combine all of that into a business that works? So here's what I would do. I would start with taking well, a, and we're, what getting, we're do, getting into, do you want to hear what I would okay, do? Okay. All right. You go first. Wait, wait, yeah, do, you go first. Do you want to hear what I would do? Yeah. I would do a cameo, but with video, but using AI with fake looking like, you know, you have like Tom Cruise, but it's not quite Tom Cruise. And then, you, can, you know, it'll build your website for you because, you know, I don't want to have to build a website. So I'll use Galileo to build a website. I'll have a little chat GPT AI bot for all the uh, questions that people have. And then I'll just do like uh, fake <laughs> videos of people. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good idea. I think, I'm not sure if Synthesia lets you pick I mean, I haven't, I haven't actually um, used it other than for that demo video. So I'm not sure if you can like yeah, actually customize yeah. what the person looks like. But an idea where you could customize what the person looks like and specifically make it look like a celebrity, that would be a great idea because then you could do that cameo idea, right? <laughs> um, yeah. But it doesn't use all five of the, uh, of the systems there. Um, okay. So here's what I would start. Uh, here's like something that I just thought of as a as a separate idea that that idea might be better than this idea but we'll see um yes. we'll let the uh let our listeners um, we'll people, give us a five-star well, yeah, review yeah That's right. give us a five-star five star review, review put your uh, put your answer in the uh, comment it's exactly right yeah even if you don't like us give us a five-star review and do a negative review and we'll read it out on the podcast yeah. so <laughs> there you go <laughs> if you really hate this show and you've made it this far I'm actually surprised. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I'm constantly anyway, surprised so, that anyone makes it this far. Yeah, I mean, even if you like it, yeah. Um, <laughs> I know, we, have, we have a lot of fans, Nathan. <laughs> um, yeah, so something that I would do, I would take a data system, right? And, um, and I would use that to create the core product, which would be creating an insights business. Um, so the insights business would be something you can sell as a B2B SaaS, so a business-to-business -business software as a service company. And it could be a bit of um, bit of a consumer data business, right? So one thing I would look at as an area is, say there's a bit of slippage in um, in showing in the data in, um, in a certain industry, right? So I would go, okay, there are customers that are coming into your retail store and they buy something and they never get contacted again because you don't have a very good system of keeping track of them you don't have a system like a crm which tells you when to call them or tells you when they've been emailed and all that kind of thing um they never get contacted again and they don't remember that you're there so there's no relationship with the brand right so there's a solution here i think um so you could build a data system that ranks the customers that come into your store um the ones that 
come in often. You could tell them they're kind of part of a VIP club. You could offer them exclusive um, products. You could offer them early info on drops. You can offer them blogs and and extra you know information, um, which your your standard customers wouldn't get. Um, and then the ones that come in once and they sign up and they only buy one time, you could offer them discounts. You could contact them by text and email um, to kind of build a, a personalized message for each um, customer to say like, oh, you bought this previously. We're actually doing it. Here's a discount for if you want another one or whatever. Um, and then that way that they can they can be like, oh, this brand actually cares about me. Um, and there's kind of a, a CRM kind of follow-up system and so let's say you build that uh, that system in Wrath, um, which is one of those AI tools. Um, then you want to build the look of an app using Galileo. So this is a business-to-business app that kind of your retail store owner can look at and say, okay, these are the insights. So you could design all the dashboards and the way that the business owners want to look at the app and um, and look at the data, which is coming from that Wrath Insights system. Um, you could do that, and then you could build the look of the brand using Looker, um, which would be able to show you know all your branding and um, and your graphics and everything like that. Um, and then next, you could have a Landbot chat um, bot to talk to your customers um, and on your website and book in a meeting or book in an appointment for your, for the retail store or collect the payment using Stripe, all of that, um, those kind of things. Um, and then once your customer signs up, um, you could use like once your your actual customer signs up to your um, B two B company, um, you could use Synthesia to send out a custom sales video that says like, "Oh, thanks for signing up to my service. Um, thanks, you know, um, this is these are the next steps." True. It, in it would be it would it would be a little bit funny. Like, it would be definitely very unique to get like a custom video which had like your name and everything in it and like. A few yeah. things about you and thanking you for signing up and stuff. That would be pretty unique. Yeah, I think it would be. I think it would make it more of a special experience, and I think it could be cool. And you could also make it like a sales video, and then be like, when you're cold reaching out to people, you could be like, "Oh, these are this is a sales idea. Um, like this is this is what we're doing. This will help you because we've got insights. Um, you know, and uh, and then what you can do. Let's say you have something you can plug and play with a system, like for example. Um, you work out how to connect to a few different backends, you know, people have a square, um, system to sign up or Salesforce or an SQL database or whatever. Um, then once you can plug into a few of those, you'll have a few automated, um, systems already that can kind of automatically go in and get people's data and draw the insights sort of more automated. Um, and then once it's doing that, you can just focus on getting all new sales and whatever to your, to your SaaS company. And, um, and so basically it would be like a synthesis of kind of all these five. Um, you could build it like that and you could um, have it all like packaged up into a business and then you could plug and play with all different kinds of businesses. So you could, you know, you could look at different retail. You could like, it doesn't have to just be retail. It could be like a pizza shop or it could be um, yeah. kind of different things. And then it could just be like basically a, an automated system that, that kind of gets insights on each customer and shows the repeat purchase behavior and all that kind of stuff and helps the business owner to understand their business a bit more. So that's kind of what what I would build with all those five. Yeah. It's good. It pretty effectively uses them all. Yeah, for sure. So um so yeah, I mean I, I think like I think drawing them all together, like talking about them is all is all well and good, but like bring them all together is is um almost a a unique skill in itself. So yeah, I mean I think that's what I would do in twenty twenty three if I was um you know, needed to start a business and wanted to use AI well, tools as my tech stack. All right. I like it. Well done.